Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Varel with another product review. So I was looking out there, uh, first off this is going to be an unboxing and I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys. So I do a lot of uh, custom work from mod chipping to uh, LED stripping, LED lights, enabling, I don't know what to call it. Uh, now I'm doing also lightsabers and stuff like that and you know you need to you know have a good soldering iron now, I had several ones that I bought that were cheap or like five bucks you know the regular soldering iron the plastic shit that usually blew up on me after a while I didn't really like it so I wanted something more uh, pro and be sure to stay tuned for my other episode once the gator uh, clips come you're gonna see this nice setup that I have which is pretty sick and it's this is dirt cheap guys I'm gonna in the in the description below you could definitely check the link uh, whether they raised prices or not, I mean, it's still really, really cheap. So anyways, it came in a box like this, uh, FedEx. Uh, believe it or not, it looks like it's written in Chinese over here or something. But the truth of the matter is it came from an American shop. So it took like a week to get here. Not uh, your usual like months and months of, you know, till it gets here due to customs if you're getting it from China or something like that. So first off, comes with a instruction manual. Okay different parts right here which is pretty cool in a ziplock then it has different uh, parts right here for your soldering iron so I guess this one's for the heat gun this one's for the soldering iron uh, we're gonna go over all of these after I'm just gonna, gonna take them all out right now Ooh, okay so this is a little bit difficult this is your professional look at that uh, soldering iron we're gonna take these out as well we're gonna, I'm gonna show you all of these things uh, this one what is this I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's for the tools. Um, just a tool. Just a tool. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So what I like about it is it comes also with a gun, with a heat gun, which I really liked because when you're using like these, uh, I forgot what you call them, like uh, these strips that you use on a wire, you have you put them back in and you have to melt them. This thing comes really good, uh, well and handy. So the unit comes like this. Okay, we're gonna go over this right now. We're gonna go over the whole thing. Uh, but so it comes with this unit right here. Uh, has a handle and everything. We're gonna get into that uh, with the heat gun already. Uh, wow. Okay, so that's already attached to it. Uh, this holder right here. We're gonna get into that as well. Uh, this one right here. And I guess that's about it, right? Yeah. All right. So that's about it. And that's that. Okay, now let's go over everything. So I'm going to just move it up a little bit so you guys can see more of it. So this one, obviously, right here, I'm going to show you all of that. But first, let's get into this one right here. Okay, so this has meters and everything, switches on which one you want, the, the heat gun or the soldering iron itself. Okay, now let me just open this baby up. Okay, so you got your sponge right here to clean it out uh, for your soldering iron and a soldering iron holder, which goes right here. I'm gonna just take out the soldering iron now for you guys, so you guys can see it. This is a real amazing one, I really like this one, really pro. Uh, professional, oh, let me take that out. Professional soldering iron right here, I'm calling it pro because I used a lot of ghetto ones, so I'm sure a lot of people have as well in the past. Has a good about like a, I would say, what, like three feet cord almost. Uh, has an attachment right here. Uh, really well, you know, obviously with a lock over here. So this is the standard tip, but of course it's removable, guys. That's what I like about this. So you guys could take this out and put some of the other parts in there. You see? So you could take this out, that out, and just put another uh, another part, and you're good to go. But let me just put that in because I'm not going to be doing that right now. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. And then it goes right in here, and you need to hold it. Oh, hold on. Let's see here. Right over here. I'm going to do it all for y'all. <laughs> so we're going to put it all together so you guys can see how this thing works. I am kind of a little bit disappointed because I thought the heat gun wasn't on board. Like it, it was also like this, like you get to lock it in there. So it has an option, but unfortunately it's like right in. So... But I mean, you could control it like on or off. So let's say right here, an off button here. So right here, you could control the hot air temperature. That's for the heat gun, I'm guessing. Uh, the soldering temperature right here. So this is good because you could control 
uh, the heat that you want this to actually work on, which is pretty darn cool. And then of course the air, uh, the speed, that's again for the hot air gun. Uh, from auto to manual, you could do. And it tells you right here the, you know, the entire meters, two meters right here for each one. So this is pretty darn cool. Uh, here we go. And I think this is for the, for the gun. So this is the heat gun, yeah. So this is the heat gun. So obviously you could put any type of uh, different things. Now I'm going to go into here. So you guys, oh, can see so much crap over here. Oh my god! All right, so let's put this aside because we don't need that. Uh, these are the parts that it comes with. Okay, so for the soldering iron, you have this with a fine tip, which is really really useful for mod chipping and stuff like that. This is another one. It's kind of like. Uh, Kind of things you could splice things with, I guess. Um, this is uh, more like for watches and chips on that. Some of them have to, like this one here. And this one here, I would use for jewelry. <laughs> uh, jewelry stuff, like if you wanted to uh, make something smaller and you have to take out a little bit out of it. I mean, I don't recommend you do that unless you have like professional equipment. Because I've done it before and you need to polish it and you need, there's so much to do. It's not just, you know, soldering, but it has an option right here. So you got this part right here. That's taken care of. And this is for the gun itself, okay? So I'm going to show you all of them. So you have one over here, which is like a freaking soldering iron, but very, very tiny. Another one that's, I would say about medium. This one right here. And this one, which is just like a real good blower right here. <laughs> so, let me just put that in. And then we're going to plug this baby in. Um, obviously, you don't need me to solder anything because it doesn't make any sense. You guys will just see uh, what I'm talking about in terms of the meter. Give me one second. Okay, so before I turn it on, let me just show you guys a little bit of this. So, you have a handle here. Um, right here. You could see you have that uh, the master switch and over here a fuse. So the fuse you could actually take out. I'm going to show you right now so you guys can see. So you could always replace these fuses. They're really, really cheap. You probably see them in uh, a lot of things like amps and stuff like that for my guitars and all that stuff. And now you put it on. There you go. You feel. See that? You get the read. You see that? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's second for a while. As you can see, it's already lit up. It's orange. I don't know if you guys could see it, but it's orange. You see smoke's already coming out. Oof. Okay, so there you go. And now you control each one. See, it tells you all of the read. You can shut it off. See, different one for the soldering iron itself too. You could That's on auto, this is on manual. Okay, and you could control, you see? And that's about it. Not really much to talk about on this, just uh, really straightforward. Oof, this is gonna take a while to cool off. <laughs> so that's why this baby comes in handy. So this one, you could actually attach it uh, to the sides right here, if you look at it, you just have to unscrew it. Oh, where is it? Here we go. And just attach it to there. I mean, some people are not going to want to do that. They're going to want to just, uh, you know, attach it on some other crap. But this works pretty well as that. I would say I'd recommend to do it this way. That way, you know, it's just like glued onto there. And you can't lose it and you know what's what. But anyways, I do I recommend this? I highly recommend it. If you're soldering and you want something professional, you want to move to the next uh, step and you don't want to, you know, <clears throat> waste your money on getting those dangerous plastic ones uh, with the metal tip that blow up in your face all the time, then you get yourself one of these. Just want to see something here. Ooh, yeah, that got really hot really fast. <laughs> So we're going to have to wait till the baby cools off. So that's pretty much it. I mean, not really much to talk about. Great soldering iron here. Great heat gun. 
Uh, and that's when I would say when you're ready to move to the next step and you really want to do some professional work, I highly recommend you're going to need both of these anyway. So to buy them all in one package, it's pretty awesome. I just hate that this thing is automatically installed. I wish it was removable like this one. But unfortunately, I mean, hey, for the price, you can't beat it. So I give it a 8 out of 10 only because of the fact that it doesn't have that attachment uh, to it, um, you know. I'm not really a big fan of having like onboard, so I had to take two points off of that. But uh, I know it probably seems harsh for some people, but hey, it is what it is. But I just, you know, that's the way it is. Uh, but overall, I give it an 8 out of 10 uh, because of the inconvenience. I, I had to take away two points. I hope you guys understand. But you let me know what you guys think in the bottom. But this is for professional work. I highly recommend it, especially if you're doing lightsabers and all that. You don't want to just solder shit in. You want to put the thing. I, for, I always forget what it's called. I'm so... The way I talk is very unprofessional, but because I'm not really, you know, uh, electrical engineer or anything. But it's these things you put over the wire, you melt it, and it kind of just sticks to it and keeps things together. You want to have that, and you want to have a heat gun. Now, yes, you can do it with the tip over here. If you just have this with the tip over here, you could still melt it. But it's good to just have a gun or a blow dryer. So instead of a blow dryer, you just have a gun like this, and it, you know, melts the crap, and that's, you know, that's that. Uh, also, again, it's uh, you could use it for jewelry, stuff like that, for certain earrings and stuff. This will work. So for jewelry customization, lightsaber making, uh, um, I don't know, uh, LED, uh, all that, you know, for LEDs, strips, and all of these things, uh, mod chipping uh, for your uh, systems. I know I did it for the PlayStation 2. I uh, never went on from there from uh, from there on end, but it, it's it's like that. For these kind of work and delicate work, especially mod chipping, what happens is in mod chips, you want to control the the uh, the intensity of the heat on this, and I'll tell you why. Because what you do is, if you heat it up too much, you're going to blow up the chip. So it's always good to have that uh, control, and then after you have that control, you know exactly where you're at, and you don't really even have to wait 15 you know minutes to cool. I used to have to wait between every one that I soldered and tinted and put it together. I had to wait 15 minutes per attachment and then do it again for the chip to cool. Otherwise, if it overheats, it blows up. So it's nice to have that control where you could just put it on a little bit of a heat, you know, and that's about it. Plus to have the air gun here that you can actually now put stuff on it to melt in and make it really good. I don't know. I, I'm really liking this. So let me know what you guys think. Let me see. Yeah, it's still hot. <laughs> So let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, dislike. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. And it's also very small. So, I mean, very portable, very tiny. Won't take up too much of your work uh, place. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.